The original idea, I guess uh, you could say, came from myself and the gentleman I worked with, uh, Irv McIntyre. It's the only project in my career as a professional engineer that I worked on for almost a quarter of a century. There's nothing more important in life than water and sewage services. It was a step at solving an environmental problem. So there was a lot of growth that had to be looked after and the province decided that they better have a master plan of how to look after all this. We were given the task of coming up with uh, possible solutions. As a result of this project, we probably forged some new ground. There's been a lot of information and misinformation about the YDSS and uh, I, I think it's a system that um, our residents and uh, people in the GTA should be very proud of. A vision that got started by the province several decades ago, one that was implemented initially by the province and one that York and Durham regions have worked very hard to make sure um, is expanded and maintained in a very sustainable and environmentally sound way. The YDSS is a state-of-the-art single pipe sewage collection system starting in both Woodbridge in the west and Newmarket in the north. Flow is collected at the Leslie Pumping Station, where it is then sent to the Duffin Creek Water Pollution Control Plant for treatment. It is a living infrastructure that changes continuously. Well, there's two main reasons for its existence. First and foremost, there were a number of small treatment plants discharging their effluent to relatively small streams like the Humber, the Don, and other small tributary streams to Lake Ontario. The streams simply didn't have capacity to absorb any more sewage effluent. As a result, the, and in parallel with that, there was a need for uh, an expansion of housing. There was a housing crisis at that time, in fact. Federal and provincial policy stipulates that growth will occur in Ontario and growth will occur in York Region. The growth of the YDSS is, uh, is necessary to accommodate the growth in population. The regions did not have a say in how their population would grow. It was mandated upon them by uh, higher level governments. As a result, they had to accommodate that growth in, as best they could and that included uh, increasing the sewage capacity.
not only is York Region planning and building to bring more people into the community and they're building the infrastructure, the hardcore infrastructure and homes and sewers and roads that are required to support the, the growth in York Region, but they're also acknowledging that they need to provide environmental net gains to support that growth as well. They're acknowledging that the environmental protection and conservation and restoration is a, a very important objective to the region and they need to manage that objective through the construction of their sewer. What we wanted to do on this project and others that York have undertaken is to provide a positive legacy, go beyond simply leaving behind a status quo, let's call it, or state, uh, not changing the present state of the environment, but do something better, leave a positive legacy for the communities. And that led us to the notion of enhancements. If you do those projects, they, they leave a long-lasting legacy. Where a pipe is buried and you'll never see it, um, a forest is something that grows and matures for hundreds of years. and, and it's a huge investment in conservation. The thing is with the, the work that we're doing with the region is that we're restoring some of these areas in areas that are being redeveloped. And that, uh, that is sort of building the building blocks of future green space in the areas. And I think from a social perspective, that's what makes good communities. We are making sure that with each project that we're not just doing things in the same way, that we're continuing to benefit from our increased understanding of environment and environmental issues, including the moraine, including uh, infiltration and inflow issues, and working hard to continue to reduce our environmental impacts as we uh, implement these, uh, these systems now and into the future. We can't afford mistakes. These pipelines you know, don't service a couple homes or a street. They service entire communities and entire towns. So we take this very seriously when we're looking at this. If you look at urban centers the size of York Region at a million people or more, and there are many of them around the world, very few of them have the level of containment and treatment of sanitary wastes and they all generate at least as much. Uh, to the extent that it could become a model, uh, it's a pretty good one to ensure, again, a more sustainable planet. The idea is to harmonize science and engineering and make it so that it actually protects the environment. It's an adaptive program that's ongoing. From, you know, the very concept when it was first envisaged, until its, its achievement and uh, almost to the stage of planning its expansion. Uh, I'm proud of that participation. I'm proud also that we did some of the first steps towards environmental uh, recognition. It had a great social impact and it made a lot of things possible in the area that would not have been possible otherwise. The York Durham sewage system, in my opinion, continues to serve as one of the best and environmentally friendly and sound solutions to sanitary sewage servicing in the Great Lakes region.